Hi, this is a video recording for FSD project creation. I'm going to have a quick run through uh, showing how to boot up for the two different various styles of controller that we have. Uh, mainly we have the FEC CPX and the FEC 640. So starting off first will be the 640. For the project, new, you can give itself a name of whatever description. Just go call my name. If you have a 640, it's going to be an FEC standard and a game comment. You can put whatever you so wish in there. Press OK to start up, and your project window, which is your project tree here, will display all the settings that you need to set up. The first three things you need to do, outlined in the PowerPoint, are controller settings. Go to your download tab on the right hand side. And you'll be looking to tick the auto start after download and the download download source files. The bottom one download modified driver files should already the reboot once you download, saving you the hassle of having to walk over, power it down and back up again. And the second one that we tick, download source files, enables you to remove your projects that you have downloaded from the PLC again in case anything goes wrong. So tick those two options and press OK. Second one now on the I.O. configuration, open it up. By default it will be empty if you're using the 640. Double click and we're looking to insert the type of one we're looking for which is an FC640. FC640 Word and the one with the 640 and the 640 Word to be honest, I don't know the difference between them. Um, I can't seemingly see anything that differs between the two so I'll just stick with the 640 for safety's sake. Uh, make sure your input word is at zero and your output word is at zero. Press OK. That's all that's required for this particular one. Close. And then finally on to driver configuration. Again, nothing in it to start off with. Double click. <coughs> and what we're looking to do is scroll down. PFC2 driver. Click OK. Change the IP address to 192.168.10.10. .10. That's going to be the IP address that you're going to give the PLC. Subnet mask should be left as is, so the gateway. Press OK, and that gives us the setup for the first three systems, which is the controller settings, the I.O. configuration, and the driver configuration. From there, you're able to then go to right-click, Programs, Statement List, press OK, or Enter. Choose whichever program you want to start with. I'm just going to start with the comment. Uh, put it as test it's going to be number zero, press ok and from this point you're now ready to begin programming, thank you